<laughs> Views. What's good? I'm Salabina and in today's video, we're going to be talking about 8 things that I learned at 18. Okay, so it's been a while since I sat down and had a chat with you guys, so I decided to stand up. <laughs> Place up. A new background as well, huh? It's a ting. So, recently, man turned 18. 18, fam. I just have. I'm 18. So that's why I decided to make this video. We could have done 18 things that I've learned at 18. Not the day. First points. I'm still lazy AF. Okay, cool. We've got the first one out of the way. Let's do this. So second on eight things that I've learned at 18 is that nobody cares if you didn't go to the party. You might feel the FOMO. To be honest, there's going to be a better draw. There's going to be a better party. Next week is going to be the same thing. So how was Saturday, G? Cuz, understand me when I say that was the best night of my life. Two weeks later, dude, I'm so bummed on this Friday night. How was it? Life changing. Life changing, bro. Also, just to mention, <laughs> All these eight things I'm coming up with right now. I haven't written anything down. So, <laughs> so literally this is fresh news from my brain. Major keys to success are just, you know, resignating. Is that a word? Resignating? Resig- Number three, don't procrastinate. If you can learn how to stop yourself from procrastinating, your life will change. I'm literally one of them, to be honest. And if there was a society for procrastinators, you would be like, Procrastinators unite! Yeah, 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 tomorrow, tomorrow, bruv, will you not? Matting, let's do this. Alright, number four, don't ever play yourself. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking, no, I'm joking. Number four is find yourself. I can't stress enough how important it is to find your true self. It might mean losing a couple friends or letting go of a few people or stop doing things that you would usually do, but if you don't find yourself by the age of 18, if you can't define you, your life's purpose and what you want to achieve, you know, you're going to be stuck with people you don't want to be with, doing things you don't want to do for the rest of your life, fam. and that's going to suck. It just is. Keep your circle this small. It's getting bigger, right? No, this small. Number five, learn to say no. A lot of the times, we get really tempted to do things or get persuaded to do things by people, and most of the time, we actually do do them because YOLO. I just said YOLO in 2016. If you could say no to the party or drink to the lads or a game of FIFA, whatever it is, but if you can say no and, and, and work on your craft and your future, you know what I mean? Like, I'm giving myself advice right now because I'm literally the same as you. I need this advice, I just do. It's not that I use this advice that I'm giving to you guys, but it's just that I've learned the hard way. <laughs> Learn to say no. Trust me, daddy. <laughs> Number six. Six. Number six. Sangha. Shocking. Do the things you love. If you enjoy something, pursue it. Some, not everyone's gonna agree with you. Some people might think you're stupid, some people might think you're weird, but you know what I'll say? Foot sack. It's quite simple. If I could give you guys an example, it would be like this talking to you guys, doing making YouTube videos, and then eventually one day getting paid for that and that being a living. That's doing what you love for the rest of your life and getting paid for it. It's not easy to do that, but if you stay in the path of your passions, like where your passions lie, success is bound to fall at your feet. Football for me is one of my passions, so whatever work I do for the rest of my life, I want it to be involved in football, you know what I mean? Obviously, being a footballer is quite deep at the moment. Um, <laughs> doesn't mean that you should give up on your dreams, it just means you need to work harder and find the inspiration from anything. Literally, inspiration can come from anything. Once you use your passion for anything, like I said, you're gonna start doing things you don't wanna do with people you don't wanna be with. So, do what you love and don't care, fam. Just mug them off. Do you. Number seven. Aspire to inspire before you expire. That little phrase right there, major thing. You get me? Because aspiring to inspire will leave an impact on people's lives forever. That's what I want to do. Because people remember you by how you made them feel. Not by anything else, for good things and for bad things. Whether you make them laugh, whether you make them cry, they'll still remember you. Change what you can and try to fix what you can't. Oh my goodness, I am coming with the ting. Just inspire, bring positivity, laugh, make people laugh, make people feel something, make music, draw, paint, I don't know. And number eight, I have no idea what it is. The learning never stops. 
every day you learn new stuff. Like yesterday I learned that LVG is getting sacked and being replaced by Mourinho. Matting. So yeah, I'm gonna end it there guys. Hopefully in the future I'll be doing a video of me doing things that I learned in 28. Depending on how long I'm gonna be doing this for. But sure, if you did enjoy that video, please give it a cheeky thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the new background and me standing up and what you wanna see on my channel in the future and what other videos you want me to do. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe if you're new. Until we begin, check you.